In this video, we're covering an epic bait mold that is an absolute must have for your collection if it's not in there already. It's extremely versatile. We're covering all the different ways to rig it up. We're gonna shoot the bait in an 8-bit bait's original color. And now that I've got my hands on the two inch and the three inch version, we're also gonna talk about one big issue I found that I think needs some immediate attention. Let's get into it. Hello, bait chuckers out there. Thank you for clicking on the video and an extra special thank you to all of the new subscribers. Uh, again, I find it hard to find words and ways to express my thanks. Uh, the channel's gained some extreme momentum over the course of the first two videos. You all obviously are loving the content. I'm having a blast making it for you. So thank you, thank you so much. Now, if you're not subscribed to the channel, I worked out a deal with YouTube, it's free. All month long I got them to extend it a little bit so all month subscriptions are free so hey you know it's up to you but it's there if you want to do it just say it. <laughs> on a serious note though I really do want to give a sincere thank you to all of you in the fishing community uh, I've received a very warm welcome from a lot of you uh, and uh, I really want to give a special thanks to epic bait molds who are actually partnering with me on this video today epic bait molds Jason and Amanda were the first ones to kind of reach out uh, welcome me into the community. Uh, we got to talking back and forth. Uh, they said they'd love to work with me on a video. So I put some thought into it, had a couple ideas, ran it by them. And I think we came across one that I think is a great idea for a video. So today we're going to talk all about the Slick Swim. That's right. In my opinion, the Slick Swim is probably the most underrated bait from the Epic Bait Molds lineup. It's extremely versatile and we're going to get into all of that today. Here I'm holding up, this is the 4 inch Slick Swim with the hook slots. This is my preferred one to use for the 4 inch. So this one I actually had and bought with my own money. And the, uh, the two that Jason and Amanda provided is the 2 inch Slick Swim and the 3 inch Slick Swim. I really wanted to cover the entire lineup of Slick Swims today because there's so many different ways to rig them up. And especially right now during the winter time, we're going to shoot it in an 8 bit baits original color today. We're going to show you how to rig it up in a bunch of different finesse ways as well as some power fishing ways to really take advantage of what this bait can do. Just a real quick reminder for everyone in case you haven't seen it yet already, all the molds in the tackle that we discuss in the videos, we're going to have everything linked down in the description below. So we'll take you right to the product pages for the molds and right to the product pages for the tackle that we're using for all of these baits and molds. The primary reason why I chose the Slick Swim is because of this little bait right here. This is a four inch Kitech Easy Shiner on an Okashira eighth ounce screw head. This was my ultimate confidence bait. I say was because now this is my ultimate confidence bait. This is a four inch slick swim on a eighth ounce Mega Bass Okashira screw head. Now holding these up side by side, you can see that it's slightly longer. It's got a much broader fish body profile it's thicker when you hold them side by side and there's a huge difference in the tail. Everyone knows Kitex. They work all over the place. They're a staple for a lot of people, especially the four inch Easy Shiner here. And everyone knows the action of a Kitech. It's a big, wide, flappy tail. But that's it. That's all it does. If you need something where you can pull through the water and you got a wide, flappy tail, the Kitech is your bait. If you're looking for secondary action, this isn't going to provide it for you because all it does is have a big wide flappy tail that's really about it where the slick swim really shines is back here in the tail it's a little bit thicker than an easy shiner and the tail design is more of an angled kind of square bill kind of design so you still get that huge kick but because it's a little bit thicker and it has a little more meat to grab onto for the body you're going to get that body roll so you get that side to side roll and this is where I found it really outperforms the Kitech. So this has become my ultimate confidence bait right here. This exact rigging, this is tied up on my boat at all times. If I can't get a bite, I turn to this before I even go to a wacky rig Senko because I have that much confidence on it, at least here on the California Delta. 
The other benefits, as I mentioned, we all know Kytex, but they're extremely expensive. They're like $7 a pack, six to $7, depending on the tackle shop that you go to. They're extremely soft plastic. Fish bite the tails off the back of them all the time and you can rip through them and you're also locked into whatever colors that they have. This is just yet another reason why I love the Slick Swim because, well, it's way cheaper to make my own baits, plus I get all the customization that I can't get from buying store-bought brand. I mean, this is why this is why we make our own baits, right? This is for this right here. I mean, this match is amazing. This is a motor oil blend with holographic flake and this is something that I just can't, you would never be able to buy this in a store because no company makes this color. This is an opportunity for me to get out there and throw something that's a little bit different, has different action, something the fish hasn't seen before, but is extremely versatile and it's something that not everyone else is throwing and it just entices them to bite. So while everyone is out there throwing easy shiners, I'm throwing slick swims and I'm catching them all day long. Okay, so let's take a look at the molds themselves. Now, this is the four inch slick swim. This comes in both a hook slot and a non hook slot. Unfortunately, because of the size and trying to keep as many cavities as possible on the form here, uh, there's no way to really make a reversible hook slot, no hook slot, because there's really no room to flip the hook slot over. It would impede into the other cavities here. So uh, there are two separate versions of the mold because because of that, I like to have the hook slot on the 4 inch. I think the 4 inch Slick Slim still has plenty of meat for you to go ahead and slide that hook through. Uh, you can see, uh, even as I have here, the Okashira screw head here using the 4 inch Slick Swim. This has the hook slot on the bottom and still plenty of meat for this to go ahead and slide through. So I personally think the hook slot is a good option to go with and I'll show you why later on when we use some of the different underspin rigs that we're going to be showing you. But you can also get this without the hook slot if you just want a solid chunk slick swim to use as a jig trailer or something like that. Taking a look at the 3 inch version of the slick swim, this does not have a hook slot. And it's labeled so here, 3 inch no hook slot on the bottom of the mold, but I don't even recall seeing a hook slotted version of the 3 inch on the website. So I believe no hook slot is the only way that the three inch comes as well as the two inch. But the three inch here, you can see it is a six cavity mold and it's the exact same profile as the Slick Swim, just scaled down into a three inch size. Now I should also point out that both the three inch and the four inch are top port injection for individual ports, meaning each one of the swim baits is gonna have its own top injection port. This is gonna allow you to do the laminates nice and easily. You can do single, you can do double, you can do triple lamies. That's right, you can even do triple lamies on these. I unfortunately don't have a triple laminate, but I've seen it done, it can be done, and they look awesome. It is uh, definitely double and triple laminate approved. Now, the tiny one, the two inch slick swim, comes with a single port on top, but you can also still do two color laminates. Thanks to this pretty unique design here that Jason came up with. I believe he calls this the laminate plate or laminate insert, and this slides in. And then you can see there's a cavity right at the head of each of the swim baits where it's going to take the two different colors and kind of swirl it and spin it so that way it injects into the baits uh, vertically so you get that nice horizontal laminate across the swim bait. Beautiful, beautiful precision tooling. I mean, I wouldn't expect anything less from uh, Jason and Amanda and the entire team over there at Epic Bait Molds. So fantastic molds and uh, I mean, what are we waiting for? Let's start making some baits. Now this isn't the only way to rig up the Slick Swim. There's a bunch of different ways to uh, rig it up. We're gonna cover all of that later on in the video. It's an extremely versatile bait, which requires it to be made in an extremely versatile set of colors. You can see I have a box here that I've already started with a whole bunch of different four inch slick swims. I'm building it up, getting ready for springtime, summertime, and even some of these colors like the chartreuse I can use here in the wintertime. If it gets muddy, I can switch over to the black and blue. I got fireball for the spring and I got some greens and motor oil color changes here to get me through the spring to summer transition as well. And right here we're filling out the winter baits. This right here is my icicle color, and we're going to be using this color as the bottom half of our laminate today. The color we're going to be making is called Ice Ice Baby. 
So it's a mix between snowflake on top, which is a uh, white sparkly effect on top, and then the icicle color for the belly. So we're going to shoot a number of those. We're going to cover a bunch of different ways to rig up the baits. So right now, I think it's about time to throw the recipe up on the screen so you can see all the colors that you're going to need to participate and make these baits in your shop along with me. So the top color we're shooting today is a very simple recipe. It's a color I call snowflake. It's a mix between Dead on Plastics White as well as Dead on Plastics Snow Shine. Simple recipe, two colors, very easy to make. For the belly, we're going to be using a color that I like to call Icicle. Now this involves a lot of sparkle and hologram flake, most of which you can pick up at Hobby Lobby. First, we're going to be using the medium sized diamond glitter. This is about equivalent to a .04 glitter. Then we're going to be using the, uh, the fine diamond glitter. This is about equivalent to a .015. And then they have extra fine diamond glitter. That's going to give us a little bit of texture in there. And then we're also going to be busting out the sparkle violet flake from Lureworks again in the .15 as well as the .40. Both of those sizes, the small and medium. Flake only inside of the icicle color. The two of these together create a fantastic winter color. It goes fantastic on A-Rigs. It's very high visibility and you can use it not only on A-Rigs, but a bunch of different swim jigs and underspins and all that stuff we're gonna get into. our fresh plastisol out of the microwave. This one is on a little bit of a cooler side, so we're gonna start with our glitters first. So, the recipe calls for 1 8 of a teaspoon. I like to use a 16th teaspoon here, so that means two scoops of each one. And you can see we're starting with the medium-sized diamond flake here. So, one, two. So two sixteenths equals 1 8 so there is the medium sized flake. Then we'll throw in the, the fine diamond. All right, two scoops there. And then last but not least, the extra fine. Okay, bust out the old trusty towel. Make sure to wipe off our uh, spoon here as we switch over to the Sparkle Flake. So this is the, uh, the Sparkle Violet Flake by Lureworks. Very temperature sensitive, so we really want to keep our uh, Plastisol right around 320. We don't really want to go much over that. So again, eighth of a teaspoon total for the, uh, the fine Sparkle Flake. And then last but not least, we are going to toss in the medium sized sparkle flake. And again, two big heaping sixteenths for that to equal one eighth. All right, now let's see where this gets us here. Now we're going to get a lot of bubbles because of this. It's okay, that's what the vacuum chamber's for. It's a lot of glitter. That's why we have vacuum chambers. get all of that moisture out of there but hopefully you can see already on the knife that is just a beautiful combination when that is crystal clear again no colorant whatsoever just pure glitter for the icicle color and that looks absolutely fantastic that's gonna look real good in the bottom half of the baits as the belly All right, moving over to our other cup of Plastisol here. This one's ready to go. Fresh out of the microwave as well. And so, well first we're gonna start with the Dead On Plastics White. We're gonna get 10 drops. All right, as we mix this in here, you can see this is gonna give us kinda like a nice chalky, semi-translucent, not really. Real chalky kind of white there. 
We're going to want light to pass through that because we do want this to be a high visibility color. And when it combines with the uh, snow shine here, you're really going to see this pop. So again, 10 drops of the white. And now we're going to add 10 drops of the Dead On Plastics Snow Shine. And this is really going to set off this color right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten. There we go. That's beautiful. Now the snow shine is might be hard to see on camera. Let's see if we can get in close, but you can see there's some sparkle and some shimmer there. Definitely add some shimmer to the plastic. So these are going to be very, very nice. Again, snowflake in this cup, icicle in that cup, and so we have the belly over here and the back of the swim baits over here. All right, let's get these in the vacuum chamber, but first, so we can get a look at what we're dealing with here, we got to bust out the old color sample so we can examine this while everything's inside of the vacuum chamber. Alright, there we go. Oh, and this one's starting to thick up on us here. Starting to get thick. You can see it clumping in there. Alright, there we go. Let's get these in the vacuum chamber and we'll see you on the other side. Alright, let's take a look here. We'll get a little bit of a preview of what our laminate's going to look like. And that is going to look real good. We're going to have that nice shiny white back and that beautiful sparkle icicle belly. Really going to look good. That's a great shot of it right there. That's going to look fantastic. Okay, I think we are good to go here. Let's take the temperatures on this here. What are we at? Ooh, 302, 306, 315. This one might need to go in just a little bit longer because I think the clear is a little hotter. We're at 330 on that one right there right about where we want to be for this. I don't really want this much hotter because of the holographic flake, the sparkle flake that we have in there. But uh, I think we need just a little bit longer on the white. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that in there for an extra 10 seconds all on its own. All right. Okay, we're about 320 there. What do we add over here? About 310, 315. I like it. I like it. All right. Nice and cool. Let's get ready to shoot. Okay. Let's get our belly on the left, back on the right. And as always, boys and girls, don't forget to glove up. Okay. All right. Dual injector. Here we go. Slick swim, four inch, three inch, two inch. Let's see if we can't get them all in here. I think we can, no problem. Shouldn't be a problem. Although we should probably have our blending block ready to go. Okay, here we go. All right. Look at that, first shot of the two inch. Feels good. Go right down the line here. Making sure to top off everyone along the way. Get that, that clamp out of the way. That's why we use two separate molds there. All right. Okay. And the last one here. Okay, we got plenty. Top off all the sprues. I think we are good. Alright, you know we got to take a look at the blending block first. We always got to look at the blending block first. What do we have here? Look at that. Where are we at here? Oh, 
yeah that is going to make for a beautiful wintertime high visibility color that's going to be a beautiful combo i can't wait to see all these slick swims one of the things i like to do is come through and pick the sprues off especially on these single top port injections and you really get a good idea of what the bait's going to look like from taking a look at the sprues and that's going to be a beautiful white sparkle back shiny sparkly belly this is going to look great great high visibility look at that right there I mean that lamination looks good it looks good in the sprue all right let's take a look at these here we have the two inch and the three inch here let's start with the two inch first i'm really curious to see what this looks like with that lamination uh, plate in there you ready all right let's take a look at this together i don't know what side they're going to come out on that side and oh wow look at that those laminations turned out really good that's incredible. Wow. That's pretty cool. That is really cool to see how that laminate worked. Beautiful, beautiful 50-50. It's probably a little bit hard to tell because it's a clear on white. But I am, I am thoroughly impressed. Thoroughly impressed. Let's pull the, the plate out from inside there. I don't know if we were supposed to put worm oil or anything on it, but it seems to slide out okay. I think we're fine without the worm oil. All right. But would you look at this though? I mean, look at the beautiful lamination line right there between the white and the clear. That's unbelievable. We probably should have chosen a better color, okay? I admit to show off the laminate of what this mold can do. However, we're doing winter colors right now. You can already see this is a great high visibility color in the water. It's gonna have lots of flash. Let's take a look and see what the bigger baits look like. Okay, next up is the three inch slick swim. Let's take a look at that. Oh, coming off on two different sides of the mold there. Well, for the ones that did stick in, take a look at that beautiful laminate. I mean, I wouldn't expect anything less. That's fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. Beautiful laminate line there. This is gonna look good coming through the water, I'll tell you that. Hopefully that gives you an idea of what this looks like. Absolutely unreal. To get that good of a laminate on that small of a bait, no air bubbles, no nothing. I'm impressed. All right, and last but not least, we have the four inch slick swim. Which side? That side's got the hook slots. These always come off on the same side because of the hook slots. And this can give you a real good idea now that we have this in here with the hook slots, kind of in a larger form factor. You can see the translucency there, and this just looks absolutely amazing. And I apologize, I'm trying to do the best I can with the light. It keeps reflecting off of the molds here. I mean, this mirror finish that you get on the Epic Bait molds makes it uh, difficult to film with, but uh, you know, we're not complaining about that mirror finish. We'll deal with it, we'll deal with it. Look at that. Whew, unbelievable. Let's get these beats out of the mold. Love it, love it, I love it more. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so again, taking a look here, you can see very crisp, clear laminate line all the way through the bait. I absolutely love it. We're going to get that holographic sparkle on the bottom and just that little bit of shimmer from the snow shine up on the top to really kind of pearlize that chalky white look there. Absolutely fantastic color. Ice Ice Baby. This is going to look so good on an A-Rig. Can't wait for you to see all the different ways we're gonna rig this bait. All right, well, 
let's uh, shoot some more, get some close-ups, and we'll see you on the other side. not the fanciest or the flashiest color recipe there is but it's very effective especially right now during the winter months now one of the reasons I wanted to get all the different sizes of the slick swim together was specifically for this rig right here and we're talking the a rig good old Alabama rig now this particular rig right here this is smaller on the finesse side this is the new hog farmer tactical flex rig uh, in conjunction with the tactical bassin guys there and uh, I have this all set up here just like they do in their video with the uh, the owner screw locks up top and then we have uh, the uh, dirty jigs 1 8 ounce Matt Allen swim bait heads here on the bottom so for the dummy baits here up top we have the 2 inch slick swim and then down here on the actual baits with the hooks these three these are the 3 inch slick swim so nice small compact setup this entire rig right here weighs less than an ounce so you don't need a big massive you know setup if you want to throw an a rig you can use your slick swim molds do them in a nice white flashy color and you have the perfect finesse a rig setup well, especially when you pair it with these the little tiny blades and the two inch slick swims and the three inch little bigger fatty meteor baits there on the bottom this looks like a giant school of fish swimming through the water and this is a giant dinner or lunch for some big old bass I'm gonna come and scoop that right up this is another version of the mini tactical flex so both of these again uh, these are the mini tactical flex rigs so the smaller finessier version this one has the blades with the two inch and the three inch this is the unbladed version, and if you want that presentation of kind of a, a more adolescent school of fish as opposed to the small fry or minnows, this is a great representation of that here. So for the three dummy baits, I used the three inch slick swims, and for the larger baits with the hooks, these are the four inch slick swims. So again, pairing the three inch for the smaller fish, the four inch for the larger ones, and here's a great way to use your different slick swim molds in order to fill out the A-Rig. Two amazing little finesse, well not really little, but two amazing finesse versions of an A-Rig. Under an ounce, you can throw it on regular gear, it doesn't take anything fancy, and this is a great way for you to utilize your slick swims in the cold water months. Now, this is where we start to run into that big flaw that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. The one that, you know, I think Jason needs to remedy right away. My biggest issue with the Slick Swim is that it doesn't come in anything bigger than a 4-inch. I mean, we need a 5-inch and a 6-inch because when I sit here and I try and fill out a larger size A-Rig, a full-size A-Rig, that are meant for larger size swim baits, I got the 4-inch Slick Swims that I can use here as my dummy baits but I need like some five inch or some six inches here to fill this out. So in a larger A-Rig setting, you can use your four inch slick swims for the dummy baits and you'll still have to go to a Kitek or whatever your favorite swim bait is for the larger hooks there for five inch and six inch. Now, I really love this profile, but you know, if you wanted to come out with a five inch or a six inch version, Jason, you know, maybe bulk it up a little bit. I don't know, five inch slick daddy mold, six inch slick daddy mold. I'm just saying. All right, so the A-Rig is a big presentation and definitely more on the power fishing side for the Slick Swim. Let's talk about some more finesse ways that we can rig this up because there's a lot of different presentations here that I think you're gonna like. And this is when I talk about how versatile this bait is. You're gonna see what I'm talking about here with all these different ways to rig it up. So 
Earlier, I mentioned the Mega Bass Okashira screw head. So this is the four inch version that I mentioned earlier. And here is the three inch slick swim all in there as well. A beautiful presentation. Now this little uh, propeller here will spin as your fish swims through the water like that. The propeller is purposefully offset. One blade is larger than the other. And that's gonna help provide even more body roll than the big tail does on the back of the slick swim as well. And another nice thing about the Okashira screw head is the, uh, the hook keep here for the bait is hand tied on with red thread. So when you get a translucent bait like this, if you look real close, you can almost see a little bloodline right there in the middle of the bait. And that is all part of the presentation of the Okashira screw head. Now, these are 1 8 ounce. Uh, you could probably throw the two inch slick swim on the 1 16th ounce, it's a little bit smaller, but these eighth ounce, I'm telling you, one eighth ounce, you can throw a three inch and a four inch all day long. Ultimate confidence bait for me. This right here, the four inch and the Okashira screw head is tied on and it's on deck of my boat all the time, hands down. Absolutely slays them here in the California Delta. Okay, so let's stick with some of the more flashy presentations. Next up, we're gonna talk underspins with the Slick Swim. Now, look at this amazing little head right here. This is the Cool Baits Underspin. This is the 1 16th ounce Cool Baits Underspin, and that is a two inch Slick Swim on the back there. That is a gorgeous little open hook swim bait presentation right there. When you're pulling that through the water, that's gonna have a nice little bit of flash with that underspin. It's not gonna impede with the tail and it's gonna look fantastic. Beautiful, tiny, tiny little presentation there. Now, if we wanna go upgrade that a little bit, you could either jump to an eighth ounce uh, and get a little bit bigger hook, or you could jump over to the Damiki rig, and now Damiki also has an underspin as well with that top line tie there, very similar to that of the Cool Baits underspin. Now, here it is with a three inch slick swim on the back of the Damiki rig, and you can see there's the two inch presentation. Now, part of the reason is because the hook size is a little bit bigger. So again, for these different presentations, you're gonna to wanna to make sure your hook size matches the fish. You don't want a big gap hook off the back of your two inch slick swim. You're gonna lose all the action of the tail. This is why I paired it up individually here with the 1 16th ounce head for the Cool Baits Underspin and then the Damiki 1 8th ounce head right here. And again, great presentation, finesse underspin coming through the water. Bass aren't gonna be able to resist it. For a weedless presentation and an underspin combined into one, this is also a cool baits, but this is the weedless cool baits underspin right here. So what's nice about this is that you still have the vertical line tie, 90 degree line tie there at the top. You have the underspin blade here, but this is also weedless. So when a fish bites it, boom, look at all that hook gap right there. It's going to collapse right down. This is why I get the four inch slick swim with the hook slot because this is basically like an EWG worm style hook. Uh, sorry, or just like a, a weedless worm hook, not an EWG. There's no extra wide gap. You can see it's pretty much a straight shank just like a weedless worm hook would be. But it's an offset worm hook, weedless presentation right here, and again, still keeping that 1 8 ounce head on there. So very lightweight, very small presentation to bring your slick swim through the water. This is great to add that little bit of flash when the spinner head isn't really working too well. Switch on over to the underspin, great choice. Okay, so perhaps you're not an underspin fan, that's okay. Maybe you're a bladed jig kind of fisherman. Hey, fantastic. We have a solution for you as well. This is the Z-Man Willow Vibe. This is also a 1 8 ounce head, and this is the three inch slick swim paired up with that 1 8 ounce Willow Vibe. Now, this is a great skirtless presentation, a little minnow. This tiny blade here is gonna give you lots of action through the water. And you, know, you gotta be careful with this one though. You don't wanna reel it in too fast. The one thing I found with the Willow Vibes is if you go a little too fast, you kinda, it blows it out. So if you go nice and slow, nice slow reel, you get a nice light line, your spinning setup or a BFS setup, and you'll be able to feel those vibrations. And there you go, 1 8 ounce Willow Vibe head on the three inch slick swim. Fantastic pairing for a bladed jig 
finesse option also with your slick swim. Now let's say you just want to go standard swim head, just plain old standard swim head, we got you covered. Now, the nice thing you have here, let's start here with the Demiki head. Demiki, all right, also known for the Demiki rig setup. What you can do, this is a three inch slick swim right here. And if you want to switch it to more of the Demiki rig style fishing, you can actually just, whoop, look at that, rip off the little tail there of the three inch slick swim. And look at that, now you got a three inch crappie slayer because there is no three inch crappie slayer I don't know why, he, he just hasn't made one yet. But you know, a three inch crappie slayer, Jason's little split tail, Demiki rig action would be fantastic because the two inch is just a little bit too small. But there you go, you can get a three inch Demiki rig setup out of your slick swim with a great wiggle tail presentation, just whoop, pop that swim tail off the back. You could also use it as a normal swim head, but if you're gonna do more of a swim bait, I recommend you use the uh, Dirty Jigs Guppy Head. So this is a 1 8 ounce guppy head, and this is a perfect size for that three inch slick swim, and that fits on there beautifully, and you can swim that through the water. Just a nice, just a nice little presentation. I, the, I, it's finessey, but they catch fish. If you need numbers, these are the baits you should be using. All of you Ned Rig anglers out there, we have you covered as well. Take a look at this. This right here is a three inch slick swim on one of the Z-Man Nedlock EWG heads. So you can take your three inch slick swim, stick it on there, and use it as a Ned Rig. And every time you pop it up, and this is going to come floating down. That little tail is going to be flapping, kicking down there. And that's just going to look like a little bait fish feeding off the bottom right there. Cop it, hop it, drag it along. And it's just going to be dragging along with that tail flapping back there. EWG Ned Rig style. Three inch slick swim. Okay. And last but certainly not least by any means whatsoever. If the finesse presentations are a little too small, but you don't want a big presentation, you kind of want something right there in the middle. We got you covered with the finesse swim jig. So these right here, these are the Dirty Jigs finesse swim jigs. Here you can see I have the 1 8 ounce finesse swim jig head paired up with the three inch slick swim there. And I have the quarter ounce finesse swim jig paired up with the four inch slick swim there. Two great finesse presentations. You can see the bottom half of the skirt is removed. So there's just that top layer of skirt, a nice small finesse swim bait, swim jig type presentation for you, swimming through the water. Again, like I mentioned, that secondary action that you're gonna get from this bait is gonna help that skirt wave and float through the water. And there you go, slick swim on a swim jig. And there we have it. The two inch, the three inch, the four inch epic slick swim an amazing bait. It's a staple in my collection of molds. I think it should be a staple in yours. I think it's a fantastic bait, very versatile, and I'm excited to finally have the full lineup in my collection now, and I can't wait for hopefully someday anything coming in the future that <laughs> larger sizes. So uh, with that, I think we're going to wrap up this video. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up button, and don't forget, if you enjoy it, hit that subscribe. The, the subscription button's right there. And it's free. I mean, you know, I mean, you can't be free, right? You know what I'm saying? So until next time, everybody, you all know who it is. Your friend on this end, Michael, right here around the Delta Slews, reminding you to keep on chucking. I'll get back with you. <laughs>